Hello, everybody. Welcome to my night. <laughs> we have yet more questions to answer. Yay! Okay, so next up, Amber. Um, she's asking about fast passes. So, and I know that I could tell from the little uh, conversation we were having yesterday or last night, she was getting a bit overwhelmed because it can be overwhelming to think, you mean I have to make reservations for rides? Wait, do you? Or can you have an awesome travel agent do it for you? You can. For free. I'm telling you, the reason Don Marie spells her name with two E's at the end mm -hmm. is because the extra E is for takes care of everything. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> so, um, Fast Pass, and it's different. I know that her uh, Amber and I kind of chatted just briefly. This is all about Disney World in Florida. Disneyland that's in California is a whole another thing. And honestly, I have no knowledge, no experience. Which is all about world. No offense to land, because I know that it's fantastic. But so they don't have they have something different at Disneyland. But at Disney World, Fast Pass. It's not for every attraction. And no, it's not mandatory to get Fast Pass, but you have three Fast Passes. Yeah, you're you're a day. giving you're given Fast Passes Free. each park day. Free. Um, yeah, no extra cost to you. And the thing is, if you get these scheduled, how? So if you're advanced? if you're staying on site again, another advantage of staying on site, you will get to select your Fast Pass at sixty days in advance. If you don't stay on site, you get thirty days. Now, and there's different tiers. So you got to pay attention when you're planning that, because you can't plan. You can't do like all the most popular rides. That's a, so that's at, at that most park. of the parks. At Magic Kingdom, they don't have a tiered system yet. True. Not yet, but they might once they get the Neutron in over there. But let, let's Neutron say let's coaster. say you're you're going to uh, Hollywood Studios, mm -hmm. and you want to ride Slinky Dog. Yes. Very popular ride right now. Yes. Sometimes the ride wait goes up like what two hours. Yeah. Yeah. So instead of waiting that two hours, you have your fast pass scheduled. It's usually between an hour, like between ten oh five and eleven oh five. Mm -hmm. um, we found out I think you can get in five minutes before your time officially starts, and like five minutes after. They kind of give you a little bit of a buffer. Yeah, just a little bit though, like yeah. five, maybe ten minutes. Don't take advantage of it, people. <laughs> but you go there. So let's say you have Slinky Dog between ten oh five and eleven oh five. You go there at ten thirty. You can walk there leisurely at your own pace. And you get in the fast pass line, mm -hmm. and you almost walk on. You mm -hmm. got you got to go through a different queue, mm -hmm. but there's really no standing and waiting. No, you pretty much get on and you get right to the front of the line. Um, it's awesome. I didn't understand it the first time we went too, but I was like, well, we got free ones. We might as well use them. Um, and then afterwards, I'm like, that was amazing. And you you kind of feel really cool like passing up all the little crying kids, going, "Mommy, why does the guy with the ears get to go in front of me?" And you, <laughs> So you get three fast passes a day, and they have to be all at the same park. So yeah. if you, and that's a whole other thing about a hopper pass. Oh my gosh, girl, there's so many things. But if you if you were going to spend... Just come with us in September. <laughs> half your day at Hollywood Studios and half your day at Epcot, um, and you want to get fast passes at Hollywood Studios, you have to get all three of them at Hollywood Studios. Now once you um, use up all your fast passes... You can go to there's kiosks or you can use your app on your phone and try to get one more fast pass for the day. Um, but those three have to be at the same park. And um, yeah. So, and then like Eddie was saying, there's a tier system. So say you wanted to ride Slinky Dog Dash, which is the hot new coaster at Hollywood Studios, but you also wanted to do Toy Story Mania, which is a fun 4D like game, arcade game kind of attraction. It's lots of fun. Highly recommend. Those two are on the same tier. So that means you can only pick one from like say tier one and two from tier two. So they've of course got the more headliner attractions on tier one. So you have to, it's really hard sometimes. And you, then you pick two from the tier two. Um, they have that at Epcot where they have, you know, Test Track, which we talked about before. Soren, we talked about that. And then we had that Frozen Boat Ride. Those three are very popular because there's not a lot of attractions at Epcot. So those three are all in one tier. And I know so. what you're thinking. How do they know of a fast pass in between this time and this time? Well, 
It's all in your magic band. Yes, it is. All your reservations, even for restaurants. If you're going to a restaurant and you make reservations, it's on this guy. They just scan it. This guy takes care of everything. So sorry, we, we kind of went, got, I got off there with a fast pass. Sorry, babe. Uh, character meals. Disney, uh, Disney dining plans, character meals. Yes and yes, they have all that stuff. Um, We've been to two character meals? We've been to, and they've all been breakfast, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we've been to... We've been to the Crystal Palace. At Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom. Mm -hmm. um, that's Winnie the Pooh and Friends. Yes. So as you're eating your buffet breakfast, Winnie the Pooh comes around and gives you a hug. Tigger comes around, Piglet, and Eeyore. Mm -hmm. I mean, we went to... Um, and they pause for pictures so you can get pictures taken, too. Yeah. They went to, we went to Ohana's, which is a restaurant at one of the resorts, the Polynesian Resort. Um, that's close to Magic Kingdom, and we had a breakfast there, and we had uh, pictures with Stitch. Stitch was before you went in. He yeah. didn't come around no, and see the you. table. You greeted him. You before. saw Stitch before you walked in. Got your pictures taken with him. And then Lilo. Lilo walked around while you ate. Mm -hmm. So did like Hawaiian Mickey and Hawaiian, and Hawaiian Pluto. Was it? Pl it was Goofy. No, it was Pluto. It was Pluto. You're, you're right. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Um, but so um. There's tons of restaurants at all the parks, tons. At each of the resorts, depending on what kind of resort you're staying at, value, there's always a food court. Um, there's always pool bars. And all the restaurants too, like some of them are full service where you sit down and you have uh, the wait staff waiting on you. And some are quick service where you go up to a window and it's order. It's like fast food, yeah. Either way, you could pay either one of them. Magic band. Magic bands. So, but you did, oh wow. Um, you did ask, though, do you bring food? You can bring food into the parks. We don't, but I know a lot of parents that have small kids. Um, I think the dogs are, like, thinking those are toys down there that you just threw your magic bands. Um, you can bring, like, snacks in with you and all that. I just feel like um, less is better because you got to go through security, but I don't think it hurts if you want to bring, like, snacks, you know, like maybe some crackers or I mean, maybe your kids have dietary like needs and yeah. need to bring Although food. Disney's very good a lot of times with, di with dietary stuff. You can let them know if there's any kind of restrictions, and they can try to, they try to accommodate as best they can. Um, they do have um, Disney meal plans. Um, those are extra. Um, and sometimes they do offer what's called free dining, which they do have that offer going on right now. So if you get in touch with Don Marie, um, our travel agent, uh, I believe till sometime next month, they you can still try to book at, at selected resorts. They have where you'll get free dining, so you'll get a dining package that covers most of your meals. Um, anyways, so... We always like trying different places out there. Uh -huh. um, we just try to budget it out. Um, but yeah, we see people bringing like coolers of food there all the time. Mm -hmm. They have plenty of benches and places where you can sit down with the family yeah. and eat. Just like yeah. when you... I think most zoos. I know, like the zoo here, you can bring outside food. Yeah, yeah. It's it's cheaper. It saves you money. Sure. Totally get it. Yeah. We just budget and save up. Um, we like trying something new each year, and usually we like going around food and wine time, and really getting our grip on. Yeah, yeah. So, um, if you have more questions about dining plans or the the character meals, um, those are sit down. Those are pricier. Um, if you have questions about restaurants in particular, let me know. Let us know. You can let us know by commenting below. Yeah. A comment doesn't mean like a comment. You can leave a question. They don't say like, subscribe, question. <laughs> you can do that. Yeah. So we hope this helped you out. So like, subscribe, comment. Share. And we'll see you soon for more tall tales. And short stories. Copper says bye-bye. <laughs>